Welcome to Reading the Markets with Mike and Jane. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ. With me, Michael Kramer of Mott Capital. Uh, let's talk about tech and biotech. Both of those have been so interesting in 2017. I mean, the big tech stocks hitting record highs, those FANG stocks. Right. I mean, do you see that continuing? Yeah, I mean, I think tech and biotech are where you have to be this year, right? I mean, everybody was financials, industrials, materials. Those aren't leading anything right. anymore. Yeah, that didn't and last very long. No, it was like that <laughs> good three-month period, yeah. and the tech and biotech have taken over. Mm -hmm. We're up like 10, 11, 12 percent this year, and I think that's really important, mm -hmm. right? Because that tells you the market has this risk-on mentality. Yeah. It's going to the riskier side of the market. It's going out and looking for greater growth opportunities, and I think that's an indication that the market's much stronger fundamentally than people are giving you credit for. Okay, so let me ask you for some names. Any tech names that you like? Oh, so for tech, I mean, I've been looking at Google a lot. Okay. I think Google is incredible Even opportunity. Even at record highs still. Yeah, you okay. know what? Google just recently came out with this new YouTube initiative where yeah. they're going to start streaming live television for 35 bucks, mm -hmm. And I think that's a game changer for YouTube. And I think it's a game changer potentially for Google. I mean, I mean, as you know, we own Netflix. We've talked about mm -hmm. it here before. And it just falls under that same concept as, um, as a Netflix type mm -hmm. of, you know, moving to the streaming world and the streaming user. Okay, so Google, what about biotech? Uh, biotech, I mean, one of my favorites is always Acadia Pharmaceuticals. They continue to execute, they continue to grow, um, they continue to gain traction in, in it with their drug Nuplazid for Parkinson's disease psychosis. Mm -hmm. They had the positive readout mm -hmm. on the Alzheimer's disease psychosis. And the market underestimates the readout and the importance of the data from the ADP trial. People don't understand that there, there are no approved drugs in this mm -hmm. space. and they're, and the drugs that are used are typically off-label, mm. and they come with terrible side effects, typical, atypical antipsychotics. Nuplaza doesn't give the side effects. So even a one-point reduction for somebody that has psychosis mm -hmm. currently yeah. is a big deal. Interesting. And the market doesn't seem to appreciate that at this point. Interesting. Acadia and Google will look at those. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today, and thank you for joining us on Reading the Markets with Mike and Jane.